Korean 2 lesson 15 lecture. 우리 점심 먹으러 가요. Let's go to eat lunch. The first grammar is on responding to a negative question in Korean. Let me tell you a story. This is based on truth. Minjun is a Korean native speaker who can also converse in English. He is visiting his cousin, Michael, in Chicago. It's Minjun's birthday, so Michael is taking him out. Uh, Michael says, happy birthday, Minjun. Let's go out to celebrate my treat. Minjun says, sure, thanks. So they go out and Michael is about to pay the bill and he realizes he's a bit short on cash. Um, Michael says, hey, uh, don't you have any cash? Min says, yeah. Michael says, can you give me some right now? I'll pay you back later. Minjun says, I don't have any money. Michael says, but you just said, yeah. You don't have any cash? Minjun replies, yeah, I don't. And Michael is terribly confused. And this is why. In English, when a yes or no question is asked positively or negatively, it doesn't matter whether one asks a question positively or negatively because one uh, responds yes or no as if it's asked positively. For example, if somebody asks you, do you have your book? If you don't have the book with you, you say, no, I don't. If they ask you in a negative form, don't you have your book? You still say, no, I don't, because you don't have it. So you say no. In Korean and some other languages, your yes or no answer must be according to the question statement. So think of whatever you're going to ask as a statement and you are answering yes or no based on whether that a uh, statement is true or not. Somebody asks you, kimbap isayo? And you um, don't have kimbap, so you say, anio opsayo. And the logic of this is you disagree to the question as a statement. If it's false, you don't, you don't have kimbap. So you say, no, I don't have it. They're asking you, is it true you have uh, kimbap? No, it's, it's not true because I don't have it. They ask you the yes or no question negatively. Kimbap opsayo? Think of this question as a statement, whether it's true or not. You don't have kimbap? You agree to the question as a statement. So it's true that you don't have kimbap. So you say, ne opsayo. You're right. It's true that I don't have kimbap. Um, the truth is that Jenny cannot come to the party because she didn't do her homework yet. So when Steve asked her, 오늘 파티에 안 와요? She would say, 네, you're right. I'm not going to the party. 네, 숙제 아직 안 했어요. Okay. It's true, uh, I didn't do my homework yet. Michael is not Chinese, he's Korean. So when some uh, Sandy asks Michael, um, Michael 씨는 중국 사람이에요? He would answer, 아니요, because she's wrong. She, he is Korean, not Chinese. And she asks him, are you Chinese? So she says, he says, 아니요, 중국 사람이 아니에요, 한국 사람이에요. No, I'm not Chinese, I'm Korean. Jenny asks Mark, uh, So yeah, he didn't he eat breakfast. So he would answer yes or no. Is it true he didn't eat breakfast? That's the question in statement. He didn't eat breakfast. So the answer is, 네, 시간이 없었어요. Yes, it's true that I didn't eat breakfast because I don't have time. So um, instead of, you know, automatically saying no um or yes you as you would in um 
English, try to think of uh, the question, yes or no question as a statement and whether it's true or not. Okay. Uh, James asks, 공부 안 해요? You don't study? There's a test. So he will or he won't study? 아니요, 내일 시험이 있어요. Okay, you're wrong. I am studying, right? Because James is uh, asking, you don't study? No, you're wrong. I'm studying because tomorrow there's a test. 영화 재미없어요? You're asking if the movie is not interesting. So as a statement, the movie is not interesting. And this gained a lot of popularity and um, acclaims. So, 아니요, it's wrong that the movie is not interesting. 아니요, 아주 재미있어요. 가서 보세요. They recommend it. Go and, and watch. Sandy 씨, Linda 씨 모르세요? So this is Sandy, Linda. Sandy, you don't know Linda? Does it look like they don't know each other? 아니요. 제 친구예요. It's my friend. 잘 알아요. I know her well. 그리고 사이가 참 좋아요. And we have um really good relationship. So according to the situation, would it be yes or no? 꽃 사요? Do you buy the flower? 내일이 여자친구 생일이에요. It's your girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. So in this case, you would say 네 or 아니요. 네. Same question, but the context is different. You say it's too expensive. Does that mean you're going to buy? Probably not. So you say, 아니요, 너무 비싸요. It's too expensive. So to review, um, when you are asked a yes or no question, if it's asked positively or negatively, you have to think of the question as a statement. And you say, 네, yes. If um, the question as a statement, if it's true, and you say, 아니요, no, if as a statement, the question is false. 울어가다 is a very uh, handy um, everyday use grammar. It translates to in order to do something, you're going somewhere. We In English, we say, I go somewhere to do something, but we... Uh, say, in order to do something, you go. The main verb in this grammar is kada, to go. Whatever that's in front of it has yet to happen. That's the intention, but you, what the main thing that you are doing is to go. Um, you use this with verbs only, and if the verb base or the stem, when you take out the ta out of the dictionary form, uh, it ends in a consonant, you put all. Uh, or the if or if uh, there's a rl deal ending uh, to the verb base then you just put the and you can put the location and um, specify the uh, location the place with a and kyle the look and that's the uh, beauty of korean right we have all these particles they tell you if they are location um object so you can uh, put the location in the front too, if you would like, if you want to emphasize the location rather than um, what you are going to do there. The particle is a, e, not as well, because the main verb is to go. That's the destination. Remember, um, just to review quickly, a e has three usages, time element, it's only uh, used with locomotion verbs as destination. And A, you use with um, itta, opta, uh, verbs of existence or, or non-existence or certain um, static uh, adjectives like manta to be many or a lot. And as all, uh, even if the, there are two usages you might use, you probably would use it more often because it's used with dynamic verbs to express what you, you are doing somewhere, not just actions, but processes, things that seems really insipid, like sleeping, thinking. Uh, and when it's used with locomotion verbs, then that's the starting point.
린다는 왜 백화점에 가요? 크리스마스 선물을 사러 백화점에 가요. So in order to buy Christmas present, 백화점에 가요. 사다 is a verb. 사다, you take out the 다, it ends in a vowel, so just no. And you can say, 크리스, uh, 백화점에, 백화점에 크리스마스 선물을 사러 가요. That's fine as well. Pizza를 먹으러 or 사러 피자 헛에 가요. In order to eat or buy pizza, you're going to Pizza Hut and you can have the location at the very beginning. In order to buy the bag, um, you go to the coach store. So you can say, 가게에 가방을 사러 um, 가요. Or even, let's see, you, it's best to keep the object marker next to the, the verb, okay? The intentional verb. 커피를 마시러 스타벅스에 가요. Or 스타벅스에 커피를 마시러 가요. Order to drink coffee, you're going to Starbucks. 눈사람을 만들러 밖에 나가요. 만들다, um, it ends with RL, uh, near, uh, final consonant. So you just uh, put the. Again, um, deal is a consonant that thinks it's a vowel. So we make accommodations like it's a vowel. Okay, we just put no. Um, so in order to make snowman, you're going outside. 책을 사러 책방에 가요. Um, 서점 is another word for a uh, bookstore. And just as uh, fine to say, 책방에 책을 사러 가요. Again, please uh, place the object marker, object, right before the verb, the intended verb. 한국어를 공부하러 한국에 가요. In order to study Korean, you are going to Korea. 모나리자를 보러 루브르에 가요. So in order to have a look at the at the Mona Lisa, you're going to the Louvre. 햄버거를 먹으러 맥도날드에 가요. 맥도날드에 햄버거를 먹으러 가요. It's just as fine. You're just emphasizing more of the the location where um you are going to do whatever so in order to eat the hamburger you're going to mcdonald's 도넛을 먹으러 사러 크리스피 크림에 가요 in order to eat or buy a donut you're going to crispy cream they do have green cheese uh green tea cheesecake donut at korean crispy cream 영화를 보러 극장에 가요. In order to watch a movie, you're going to the theater. 3rd grammar, um, you also use this verb, uh, this grammar with verb um, only. You put it into a, o, yo, minus yo, and then um, conclude with 봤다 which is a past tense of to see. Uh, remember, uh, to say a'o poda is to try something. So a'o pata means you have tried something which uh, is a, a passive experience. Um, you can use such a grammar for um, 물어보다 or 알아보다, um, you try asking about it, you try to find out um, about something. When 
you say 그만 가보겠습니다, which is a very idiomatic expression. Um, it means literally, uh, I best be leaving now. I better be leaving now. That's a good way to uh, excuse yourself um, you know, early or when you have to exit. So, 아, 어, 봐요, 보세요, request, uh, this can be to ask somebody to try something. Why? Please remember, 아, 어, 보세요, 이거 좀, um, you know, 맛 보세요, please try some of this. And 아, 어, 봤어요 is about asking past experience. Have you tried that? Um, again, 보다 is to look at something. And if you put a verb in the front, all uh, put that, it means to 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 do that and see how it comes out. So all poseo, hey, try try this. all put that, you are trying something. all paseo, I try that. Uh Hanguge Kabasoyo is just like putting the verb into a o yo, you're gonna take out the yo and then attach pasoyo to ask if they try that. 한국에 가봤어요? 네, 가봤어요. 장학금 받아봤어요? 네, 받아봤어요. Or 아니요, 안 받아봤어요. Yes, um, have you been to Korea? Yes, I've been to uh, Korea. Um, have you, um, you know, ever is kind of intended, um, have you uh, received scholarship? Yes, I've I received scholarship before. No, I have not received scholarship before. Have you been on a train? Tada is to get on a vehicle to ride something. Uh tayo, you take out yo and then pasoyo. Yes, I've been on a train. Anyo and tabasoyo. No, I have not been on a train. 한국 사람하고 한국말로 얘기해 봤어요? Asking, have you tried uh, speaking to a Korean in Korean? 네, 얘기해 봤어요. 아니요, 얘기 안 해봤어요. 김치 먹어 봤어요? Asking people, have they tried different dishes? 네, 먹어 봤어요. 아니요, 안 먹어 봤어요. Um, asking whether they tried making something. 한국 음식 만들어 봤어요? 네, 만들어 봤어요. 아니요, 안 만들어 봤어요. Something uh, very simple to something a little bit more uh, challenging. Just trying Korean food um, to making Korean food. 포퓰러 북스 유캔 아스 다빈치 코드를 읽어 봤어요. 트와일라이트 읽어 봤어요. 아이 노 디스 올레디 아드 데이 해리 파터를 읽어 봤어요. 유럽을 오 유럽에 여행해 봤어요. 여행 가 봤어요. So when you say 유럽을 여행하다 you, that means you tour Europe. You do the tour of Europe. 유럽에 여행 가다 means you have gone there. You have gone to uh, tour in you traveling to Europe. Okay, Have you tried soju? Skeeter Tabasoyo? Have you tried skiing? Asking about different sports experience. Hanguk Umagar, what is to listen, you guys? Tutta. This is irregular, so it would be 듣다 becomes 아, 어요, 들어요, 들어봤어요. And this would always mean the past, 봤어요, because have you done it, okay? 한복을, what is to try on clothes? Uh, to wear, 입다, 입어봤어요. Just side note, 입다 is a 비읍 ending, a 비읍 uh, base or stem uh, verb, but it's not irregular. Like, 춥다 becomes 추워요, 덥다 becomes 더워요. It, it just, 입다 is 입어요. 한복을 입어봤어요? Have you tried 한복, which is the traditional Korean uh, attire?
숙제가 너무 어려워요. Then what kind of advice would you give to that person? No wrong answer. Many possibilities. 선생님께 질문해, 질문해 보세요. Try asking the teacher. Um, 기분이 나빠요. 기분이 나빠요. Somebody's uh, in bad mood. 즐거운 음악을 들어보세요. Try listening to you know happy music, joyous music. Um, so 아 어, 보세요. You can say 봐요 for um something you know like a casual conversation. Remember 아 어요 is um it's actually a command or order. Okay, um, so it could come off as a little stronger, but 보세요 is uh, very polite, okay? Uh, suggestion, uh, advice, um, polite, very polite. 안경이 어디 있어요? Um, where's the glass, where's, where's uh, my glasses? 컴퓨터 위에 찾아보세요. Try looking for it on top of your computer. 날씨가 추워요, again, um, giving advices for cold weather. 인삼차를 마셔보세요. Try 진생 tea. Uh, hot chocolate을 um, 마셔보세요. 머리가 아파요. I have somebody has a headache. 아스피린을 먹어보세요. Try taking aspirin. 피곤하고 스트레스가 많아요. Advice for um, being... Uh, Exhausted, I'm tired and stressed, and I have a lot of stress. Please uh, try having a deep rest. Okay. So you can um, ask each other um, these questions to find more about your uh, classmate and their background. 어디에서 일해봤어요? 어디에서 일해봤어요? Where have you worked before? Okay, different places they've worked before. 어디 여행 가봤어요? 어디를 여행해봤어요? Where have you gone um, traveling? Where have you toured? 한국 음식 뭐 먹어봤어요? As for Korean food, uh, what have you tried? Okay, 어떤 or 무슨 is interchangeable. Both mean what kind game 해봤어요. 어때요? What kind of game um, have you played, tried? How is it? Okay, elaborate, you guys. Instead of just giving a simple noun and yo your answer. 어떤 무슨 어느 책을 읽어봤어요? You can give the specific title or genre. Okay, uh, first you would ask 어떤 or 무슨 책을 읽어봤어요? You can say sci-fi 책을 uh, 읽어봤어요. And then you could ask um, specifically, 어느 책을 읽어봤어요? Which among sci-fi, okay? Fourth grammar, 는데, 은데, or 니은데. Is the clause connective of 그런데. And uh, you can use this with both verb or adjective. If it's verb, it doesn't matter if the base is consonant or vowel. You just put 는데. Adjective, after you take out the ta from the dictionary form, if the adjective ends in consonant, you put un, otherwise niun and then te. If it's noun, it doesn't matter if it ends in a consonant or vowel, you just put in de. This um, connective does take tense, so in that case, it will be at onnen de. This is a very important grammar because it can be used in three different uh, contexts to give background information, um, to provide uh, a contrastive, um, uh, you know, it, to provide contrast, um, to present the contrast. Um, and this also uh, can be used to give justification for a request or proposal. Um, and remember that in Korean, because is a also, but you cannot provide justification for um, request or proposal using a also. I know in English it makes sense to say uh, because it, it's raining, uh, take your umbrella okay, or buy an umbrella. But you cannot say that in Korean. You cannot say 비가 와서 우산 사세요. Mm -mm. You can only use that to explain cause and effect. 
비가 와서 우산을 사요. Okay, it's raining. That's why I uh, buy the umbrella. So uh, first usage um, to provide background and if it's a verb, doesn't matter if it ends in consonant, vowel, very few irregular cases, just put 는데. 집에서 나오는데 비가 와요. It happened to be, um, yeah, I happen to be coming out of the house, going out, and then uh, it's raining. 영화가 시작하는데 극장에 들어가요. So you're um, telling why you should enter the theater. S since it's um, since the movie's starting, we should enter the theater. Um, also justification, 옷이 작은데 친구한테 주세요. Since the, the clothes, um, you know, is the, the clothing item, it's small, Give it to your friend, why don't you, okay? Um, you're not just saying, give it to your friend. Since it's like this, give it to your friend. You're providing a, a reason, justification. Um, now we have contrast. 지하철은, 지하철은 편한데 오래 걸려요. Subway is convenient, but it takes long. It takes a long time. You have to wait, right? Um, again, contrast. 처음에는 한국 음식이 매, 한국 음식이 매웠는데 지금은 괜찮아요. So in the beginning, um, Korean food, uh, it used to be spicy, but now it's okay. Used to be, then now contrast, and it can be temporal or other contrast as well. 길이 막혔는데 자전거로 가세요. Um, these are to show you that yes, this um. Clause takes uh, tense. Uh, since uh, the road is backed up, uh, go by, please go by um, bicycle. Just general background information. 운동하는 데 힘듭니다. I happen to be exercising uh, and I find it um, hard, uh, challenging. This is definitely a contrast. Mark is a Hoju person, but he speaks Mark is Australian, but then, you know, you would not expect this, but he speaks Korean well. Since it's raining, please take the taxi. Okay, adjective, uh, if it ends in a consonant, um, it will be un, otherwise just neon like this. Um, you know, exercise is hard, but then it's fun. Uh, it can be both. It's background and um, contrast. Hard but fun. Happen to be doing this, and I find it interesting or fun. So let's see what the conjugation for this will be. My couldn't body ga apuda to be uh, painful. 아픈데 or 아팠는데 can be either. Um, his, head, his head hurts or it's it's painful or it was hurting, but he didn't go to the hospital. 내일, so this is not past, definitely. So 내일 시험 보다. Verb 시험 보는데 공부 시작하세요. Since uh, you take the test tomorrow, please start studying. 한국 문화를 background information 공부하 공부하다 verb 공부하는데 재미있어요. Happen to be learning about Korean culture and um, you find it interesting. 요즘 한국 드라마 보는데 한국어가 어려워요. Okay, uh, if it's history, drama, all the more because their um, speech is in middle Korean, right? So I have to be watching Korean drama and uh, I Korean is difficult. I find the Korean uh, in the drama difficult. So try translating these from English to Korean. Since it's weekend, let's sing at the um, 노래방. 
weekend is. And remember, uh, if it's noun, it doesn't matter if it ends in a consonant or vowel, it's just inde. 주말, 주말 인데 노래방에서 노래해요. Taxi is convenient but expensive. Um, contrast, 택시는, if it's adjective, 은데, 니은데, so 편한데, 비싸요. That's it for Korean 2, lesson 15.